All right, today on Glenn Amber's Home Flipping Adventure, we have a unique situation that we have stumbled onto. We have a house that we purchased a couple months ago. So one of our team members, who's no longer employed by us, came out and looked at this house and made a purchase on the house, but didn't really do a thorough investigation. I don't think she even walked in the basement. And two of the walls were actually bowed and um, needed to be replaced. So we had to redo two foundation walls from scratch, about $10,000 in extra cost. We weren't prepared for that. Yep. So now we got to try and find that budget in here. But besides that, uh, now we have a design problem. We, we, the house has been gutted, so our crew came in here and gutted the house. Now we have to come in and Amber has to do her magic and design the house. We got to try and make up for that $10,000 loss though. Lucky me. <laughs> that we had in the beginning. We got to try and figure out, because the design's kind of funky here, It right? is a little funky. So we got to go inside the house. So we, we have to sort of walk in the house uh, we got to sort of climb in the back of the house. The front door is bolted shut. And we have some interesting ways to get in houses, don't we? All right. This must be the original wall here. Yep. Got some busted windows. All right. Yeah, we got some stuff. So here's all the new foundation wall out here. We need to get this pitched right, too. This is oh, going to cause this is going to cause another problem. So we had a lot of rain, and that made that really settle in. So we have to get more dirt in here because if the water just pitches right, you know, if it rains again, the water is just going to go right back there and then we're gonna have another foundation problem all right so our problem here is really how to figure out I guess more how to get in and number two there's my glasses come on old man oh, oh. <laughs> she hit me in the back and I'm caught up woman <laughs> get up here <laughs> all right let's all right. check her out so Neil and I have been over here and went through like five or six different scenarios to make this design work because okay. it is really funky the way it is. Um, you know, we talked about making that back porch either a closet for the master bedroom and turning this into a master bedroom and then making the room opposite the kitchen. That's a whole or, new problem with It is because the city and, would make us yeah. put a whole foundation in. We'd have to insulate it and put electric, you know, it, yes, that's a whole other set of problems. Okay. And now that we have the foundation problem, I have a smaller budget to deal with. So yeah. I can't do something like that, even though it would add square footage to the house, it would mm -hmm. just blow our budget. So, you know, I've gone back and forth with turning the room next to us into maybe the kitchen because there's sliding glass doors that come in from there um, and turning this into a bedroom. And that way I could open that whole wall up into the living room. Okay. Because you know how, how the open concept is really in and people oh, yeah. love that. Yeah. And right here there was a bathroom. I was trying to keep the plumbing in the same place and, you know, it just... It, yeah. I'm trying to weigh out the budget and the design and everything. So, so what, what's this your one has had me scratching my head. What are you thinking? <laughs> um, being that the basement door is here, I don't want to have to walk through a bedroom to get to the basement. That's just Will weird. You take a minute, look at the basement door for a minute. This is very interesting. This is nice how we have like a half door. This is nice. <laughs> I like how that is. What are you going to do with that thing? <laughs> Must that's, be that first step's a doozy. <laughs> this, is part, this is part of the new the new foundation we put in, right? So they must just cut the door there. So that's interesting. All right. Anyways, carry on. <laughs> just caught my attention. So, and then, you know, we have to have all new plumbing anyway because this is cast iron and it's so old and it's probably corroded on okay. the inside. We've got knob and two wiring. Yep. So there's a lot of big budget busters here. Mm -hmm. So I really have to be conservative with, with design. my design. So I've decided to keep this the kitchen. Okay. Um, and right over here is probably where we'll primarily put our cabinets. Okay. We're going to take out that bathroom. Okay. That has got to get 86'd. Okay. And then I'm going to cut this wall in half and do a bar top here so that okay. you can overlook into the dining room. Pendant lights. Pop a couple of pendant lights in there. Okay. Probably make this opening a little bit wider just so it feels a little grander okay. and more open feeling. So we're going to open that up and make it more of a grand entrance and we were able to get rid of that chimney so we actually gained a couple extra square feet there so and then we're going to bump that that's door That's all over. good so just a little note for the viewers that be careful you take a chimney out because there is a big hole right here and of course if you're ooh, of course if you are uh, you have a wife that's a little bit vindictive sometimes <laughs> you know what I mean yeah that <laughs> might happen so keep that in mind. Um, so when we go upstairs, you'll see that none of the bedrooms are very good masters. Okay. They are all have their own little funkiness to them. Okay. So it is important for me to have a first floor master. Well, so I've decided to, so to go gotta, ahead. You gotta find a place for the bathroom then, right? Right. Because if we just put, if we were to put the bathroom in here, that would make this really small. And I can't do that. So we're gonna get rid of the glass doors and just put a window in there. And we already had to do siding on the outside anyway. How about the, 
<coughs> yeah, that's got to go. The, the knotty pine. Knotty All pine. of that has to go. We'll just shoot off over it. We've already got it anyways. What's the difference? Yeah, no big deal. I'm probably going to move the door right over just a little bit so that I can put two nice big closets right here. Okay. Um, that's the perfect spot for them. So they'll walk in. They'll have this whole area for their master bedroom. So bathroom. Bathroom. So being that this is a good sized kitchen and we have a dining room so we don't need an eating area, I'm going to steal a little bit of room out of this kitchen. So I'm going to put a door around this area and we have a window here which is great. Okay. So we'll do a small vanity, a toilet, and then the shower right here. Okay. And then this will be a solid wall into the kitchen. So we're not going from the kitchen into the bathroom? No. We're keeping it out there? Yeah. Okay. Right. I, don't, I don't think you should poop where you eat. That's so. a good point. <laughs> it's better to not do that if you can avoid it. So no, I don't like bathroom entrances off of kitchen. That's a real pet peeve of mine. Okay. Um, but doing that, we lose our guest bath because you don't want to send a guest through your master bedroom to go to the bathroom. So what are you thinking out here? And we do have a bathroom upstairs, but what I'm thinking is that we make this closet a little bigger and we just do a small little half bath right here near the stairs. So we've got basement right here. So. Right. So whenever plumbing shouldn't be too big of a problem. Whenever you're putting a half bath, if you have a basement in your house, it's really good to be able to, if a basement makes plumbing a lot easier and accessible to put a drain for your toilet and to put feed lines for your sink and for your toilet and your drains, all that stuff makes, it's easier. If you're on a slab, you can do it, but it's a lot more expensive on a slab where this would be, you yeah. have a full basement to work with. Right. I think the sewer drains are over there so we can hook it up pretty quick. And the front porch, you know, all those windows have to go. This is really old sure. school looking, so I'm going to open all that up so it's an okay. open front porch and it's really going to help the curb appeal of the house. Let's uh, show me upstairs real quick because I want to yeah. see that. So there's three bedrooms up here, but they're all a little bit funky, like I said. You know, this one has this weird... What is that? I know. So there's a window here. This it was like a porch, I Who, think. Uh, Who's the one to have a glass window in their bedroom to other than but the wait, bedroom? So there's a window over here that looks into the other bedroom. <laughs> How funky is that? <laughs> it's really weird. Wait a minute, what is that? Wait, stay there. I gotta see something. I know. <laughs> so that's a window from this bedroom that looks into that bedroom. Yes. How interesting. So voyeurism at its finest. <laughs> Yeah, so this house was definitely cobbed together. Um, oh, so this is funky. That's what I mean. There are so many design flaws with this house, we have to fix it. So I'm going to seal that window up. Just cheat rock it, get rid of it. Yeah, okay. Um, and then I'm going to take this wall out from here to here. Do you, so, do you think we should paint the ceiling or not? <laughs> no, I'm just should... going to leave that like it is. It's kind of uh, kind of new age looking, don't you think? Kind of modern artist. So, so but you, you know, you see the soffit coming down. We have a lot of little issues over here. This used house. to be a Porsche. It used to be a Porsche. Obviously. Yeah. Now, I'm happy to have the extra square you're, footage. You're loud. So go ahead. I can hear you loud and clear. Go ahead. Um, I'm really excited about the extra I, square apparently, footage. Apparently. So I'm going to take this wall out, and then this will just be like an extra little, it, you know, it is a little bit of a funky shape for a bedroom, yeah. but it, it's cool for, you know, they could put their bed here. They could have a sitting area here. Are you doing so with a wall? or This wall is going to be removed this, from this, here to here. This is a low bearing wall, I know. sure. Yes, it is, but we can. I have to add a micro Yeah. OK. okay. So let's look at the other bedrooms. So there's a bathroom up here too, right? There is. So we got another bedroom, it's right. standard bedroom stuff. So this is the other bedroom. Again, we're gonna close that window off. We still have one window, so we have light there. We got rid of the chimney, so we actually gained a couple extra square feet in there. Okay. This bedroom, you know, we've got a really pitched ceiling here. Okay. So you see what I mean? None of these rooms are great masters. That's mm -hmm. why I wanted to put the master downstairs. And okay. first floor masters are always great. So it'll be a four bedroom, it'll be a four bedroom, two and a half bath. Where's the bathroom? The other bathroom's right here. Oh. And it'll stay the same floor plan as it was. Again, Toilet be very seat. careful you're walking around. Cause... Yes. <sighs> ah! All right. This will stay the same floor plan, toilet, sink, shower. But this room back here is just kind of like, wasted space. So this is where the laundry room is going to go rather than How in the basement. How access it from there? Yeah. I guess we already have plumbing here. Right. It's it, 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 it's not a big budget thing at so all. Here, so here's a question, devil's advocate. How about having a first floor master with the laundry upstairs? Are the rest but of the kids three are bedrooms up are up here. There's more bedrooms up here than... So either way, you have to go upstairs. You either go down to the basement 
Or you come upstairs. Can we do a reverse laundry shoot? Just have it shoot up instead of go down? <laughs> Just do one of those bank teller <laughs> elevator rooms. So, so this is the house. So, okay, so so our problem was today that we had to figure out how to, do, to design the kitchen. Right? Yeah, it so was bad. That design the kitchen will work and it makes it, by putting the bath in there, now it's a four bedroom, two and a half bath. Right. Jumping the value up a little bit more. Right. We should be closer to the 200,000 range. We might be able to go for 200,000 here. With that, it'll look nice when we're all done. It's gonna look great when it's done. Be all brand spanking new. Hopefully we can make up for the extra foundation we had to do and uh, and get out of this thing and make some money. Yep. Right? Yep. So it'll look beautiful when we're done. It'll be great. We can uh, we can see it. So hey, <laughs> another problem fixed, right? All right.